Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the tension developed in each cord required for equilibrium of the 20 kg lamp, right? So, this lamp has a mass of 20 kg, right? So, we have to find the tension in these uh, five, 5 cables, right? In order to uh, maintain the equilibrium, right? So, to for that we will analyze uh, this ring d and this ring c one by one for equilibrium right so first i will write that we will consider uh, ring d right so i will write ring d right so we will con we will analyze ring d for equilibrium right so to analyze ring d we have to isolate all these forces right all these cables right so now uh, if 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 we look into this three body diagram so the tension in this de cable will be acting like this and the weight of the lamp will be acting downward right and the tension in this wire will be equal to the weight of this uh, lamp right and the mass of this lamp is 20 kg so the weight is 20 into 9.81 which is 196.2 newtons and similarly the force in this cd cable will be acting in like this right so let me write that this is de force this is cd and this is the weight right so now if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero at this ring d right so if if i write that the summation of forces along y equals to zero and if if, if the upward direction is positive right if this is our positive direction so then this de force will have one component which will be acting vertically upward right and this de is making 30 degrees so if this is 30 degrees so then this is the sine component of this de so we can write that de sine of 30 degrees is acting vertically upward in the positive direction minus the weight so the weight is 196.2 so i will write 196.2 and this will be equal to zero so from this de equals to 196.2 divided by sine of 30 degrees so from this de equals to 392.4 right so we can write that it is approximately 392 newtons so the tension in de cord is 392 newtons right now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at ring d and if this is our positive direction so then this de will have one component in this direction which is acting in the positive direction right and this is the cos component right so i will write plus de cos of so de is now known right so de is 392 cos of 30 degrees and minus cd is acting in the negative direction right so i will write minus cd and this will be equal to zero or from this we can write cd is 392 cos of 30 degrees so cd equals to approximately equals to 340 newtons right so this is the tension in cd chord now to find the tensions in this ac card and this bc card we have to analyze this ring c for equilibrium right so i will write at ring c right so then we have to draw the free body diagram at that ring c right so then we will separate this cd cable right similarly this ac card and this bc card and the tension in this ac will be acting in this direction similarly this cd and this is bc right so cd is now known this is 340 newtons right this cd and if i draw a horizontal line here so if this angle is 45 degrees so then this angle is also 45 degrees both of these angles are alternate angle right and let's say that this ac chord force is making some angle theta right so i will write that this is ac chord force this one is cd which is 340 newtons and this is bc 
right so again if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at ring c summation of forces along y equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction so now as we can see that this ac will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and if this is theta so then this is the sine component of ac we will write that this is ac sine of theta and similarly this bc will have one component which will be acting vertically downward and if this is 45 so then this is the sine component right so we will write that this is bc sine of 45 degrees right so this is acting in the positive direction so i will write ac sine of theta minus this bc is acting in the negative direction so we will write minus bc so i will write bc sine of 45 degrees and we are given this triangle right so let me draw this triangle here so this is 4 3 and 5 and this is that angle theta so from this triangle we can write sine theta equals to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse right so sine theta is 4 divided by 5 and this is equal to 0 right so from uh, in here we can write in place of sine theta 4 divided by 5 ratio so from this ac equals to bc sine of 45 degree and then we have to divide this whole thing this whole term by 4 divided by 5 right so when we simplify this so it c equals to 0 0.884 bc bc is not known as well right and ac is not known so this ac is in terms of bc right so let's say that this is equation a now if if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at ring c and if this is our positive direction so again this ac will have one component which will be acting in this direction in the negative direction and this bc will have one component which will be acting in this same negative direction right and both of these components are cos components right one is the cos component of ac and another one is the cos component of bc so let me write that this i will write minus ac cos of theta minus bc cos of 45 degrees and this 340 newtons this cd is acting in the positive direction so i will write plus 340 newtons and this will be equal to zero Similarly, we can write that minus AC is this thing in terms of BC. So, we will write 0 0.884 BC. From this triangle, we can write cos of theta. So, cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse. So, this is 3 divided by 5. So, we will write this is as 3 divided by 5 minus cos of 45 bc so cos of 45 is 0.707 bc and if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will become minus right so this is minus 340 and if we simplify this uh, and if we multiply this whole equation with minus so all of these minus signs will become positive right and now if i simplify this and if i take bc common so bc and this if we multiply this 0.884 with this ratio so then this is 0 0.530 plus 0 0.707 equals to 340 so bc equals to 340 and this sum is 1.237 right so from this bc equals to 275 newtons right so the tension in bc chord is 275 newtons right so now we can substitute this bc value in this equation a so this equation a will give us the tension in ac chord right so ac equals to 0 0.884 bc and bc is 275 so from this ac equals to 
टू फोर्टी थ्री न्यूटन्स